softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals, he's waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. Come home, come home, ye who are weary, come home. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling, O oh sinner, Come home. Why should we tarry when Jesus is pleading, pleading for you and for me? Why should we linger and heed not his mercies, mercies for you and for me? Come home, come home, ye who are weary, come home, earnestly, tenderly, mm, I can't sing anymore, I'm gonna get ya. Okay, Louise, that was just for you. That is such a beautiful hymn. It happens to be my favorite hymn. Sorry, guys, got a little choked up, couldn't finish it for you, but it's beautiful. And I hope the Lord above loved my version of it just now. Um, okay, let's dry the eyes. Welcome, Bells Bargains, my name is Amy. Let's go to the fun part of the video and not that very serious but beautiful hymn. Um, and Louise, I really, really, really hope you enjoyed that. I thought about doing Amazing Grace, but then I thought, no, I love Honestly, Tenderly. Uh, it's a great song. It's like the first song I ever sang a cappella, actually, in public. So, long story. It's for my late husband was a Mason, and it was Monday, Thursday, and I went and sang it for that. Okay, Shh, too much information. Today is Foodie Friday, you guys. So excited because I get to try some foods. You know how much I love to try foods on Foodie Friday. Hey, if it's your first time here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. By the way, before you, before you, don't hang up yet. Don't hang up. Don't go. Don't go. Stick around. I'm going to try some foods you might like. It's Foodie Friday. I'm Bella's Bargains here. Did I say my name is Amy? I always forget if I've said it or not. Yeah, well, it is. And today I've got some food for you. If you want to know anything that goes on in this channel, all you got to do is click down below. It's going to tell you about all the uploads. I do four uploads every week. And before I get into food tasting today, because I got to get into there, there's so many things I need to shout out for some people. Okay, so we're going to do an on-camera demonstration right now. Lucy, when I bought, I think it was my haul two weeks ago, I bought all those head wraps and Lucy was like, how do you put them on? So Lucy, I'm going to show you. They come like a tube like this, you guys. By the way, these are at the Dollar Tree right now, and I think I bought almost every one of them. And I just scrunch it up and get it like this and then stretch. And then I go over my head, big head that it is. And all I do is pull it behind the ears, Lucy, and voila. Hmm? Yeah, normally I would put my bangs on. Let's do that. Actually, normally... <laughs> Normally, glasses off, up, and there we go. Hmm? See how easy that was? Okay, no, the bangs really aren't working right now, are they? Okay, Lucy, look at that. That is how you put a headband on. I don't know, should I leave it, you guys? I wish I could just like ask you and you could just answer me in real time while we're leaving it for now. Which brings me to a question I have for all of you. What do you think about me doing a live? Like I see so many other, cha other channels do lives and I'm like, but what would I do a live for? Like I could do a live haul or I don't know. 
What do you want me to do on a live? Just let me know. If you guys think I should do a live, tell me what you think I should do. Okay. So I want to shout out a, a channel and I'm going to link this channel down below. I don't know her name, but the name of her channel is me and my flying machine. Listen, ladies, if you want to support a young, super amazing young woman, go on to this channel. It's super calming and serene. I don't even know how old she is, but she sent me a message. She watched one of my videos and she said, can I adopt you as my mother? And I said, you say that to all the old women, don't you? Yeah. Um, good pickup line. So anyway, I went on her channel and watched and it's so cool. She, she has her own airplane and she gets up. I think she's in Minnesota and she flies all over, plays this beautiful music. It's amazing. So I'm going to link her down below. Please go and check out her channel because it was just, it's just really calming. And then let me know what you think of it. And while you're there, tell her you came over there because Amy from Bella's Bargains sent you. Um, okay. And... Uh, Danny, I know you want to see me do a tear tray with those three drawers. So I'm just letting you know it's in my mind. I haven't figured out yet, but I am thinking about it. And so when it hits me, I'll do it. it just the creative juices haven't found anything for that yet. But when they do, I will do it. I just want you to know I'm thinking about it. Okay, next Thursday is lemons. So who was asking for lemons? Danny, was that you also? Anyway, um, lemons and bees and whatnot. But next Thursday, I'm doing the lemons. And next Tuesday, for Totally Easy Tuesday, it's big, giant things, like huge things. If you need some large pieces, you need to watch Tuesday. And they're all easy, 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 easy. In case you guys don't know, I like plan out what my crafts are. So when you do ask for something, then I get in there and I throw it in and when, when I can. Okay. And on Tuesday is going to be those beach signs. I don't remember who asked, said, I can't wait to see you do the beach signs. But those beach signs are one of the projects I'm doing on Tuesday. Okay, Louise, you got your gospel song. Yeah? So I will do Amazing Grace too. Although my second favorite gospel song is, How great thou art, how great thou art. Great one also. Um, okay. And then I am going to do another walk-in and do a gift basket. And so I'll probably do it next week where I'm just going to walk into a store and I think I'm going to do an animal basket. I don't remember who asked me, remind me who asked me to do, said, can you do an animal basket? So I will do one next week. And then, um, Danny, boy, you're like top of the subject today, right? Choose my adventure. So she said Lionel Richie wanted to do a duet. No, you want me to sing Lionel. Oh, I can't remember now. You want me to sing a Lionel Richie song? I will. Um, all night long, all night, all night. That's the only one I can come up with right now, but he has a thousand. I had a Lionel Richie album like in 1917 <laughs> and I wore it out. Like I just played it over lady. Nope. That's Kenny Rogers, but he has a lady song. Okay. Anyway. And Teresa, at the end of this video, I'm going to pop in a picture of my cutie little patootie cats for you. Just so you can see Friday and Boji. And Friday and Boji are getting a cat door. It's getting put in in like two weeks with a catio. So right now I, ha I let them, I go out with them and let them out for a little bit because we live in an area where there's coyotes and it's just hysterical because they just go to the door and watch. Like, can, can we go out now? C can we go out now? And my black cat Friday makes this weird song. I can't song sound and I haven't been able to video yet, but he like hears the birds and he goes. <laughs> I think he's trying to talk. But he's dumb, so that can't be. Um, Yvette, the googly eye pillow, I just thought I'd let you know. I did find some googly eyes. I'm actually going to make the googly eye pillow, I think, on Tuesday, just so we can see how that comes up, because I thought it was a super cute idea. It's not part of what the big stuff I'm doing on Tuesday. It's just a super easy one. Okay. Oh, no, it was Mayflower. You said Smokey Robinson <laughs> wants you for a duet. That's the biggest compliment ever. Thank you so very much. And I, is Smokey Robinson still, is he still around? Huh. I love his voice. I should do a Smokey Robinson song, actually. I love Smokey Robinson. Okay. And Crystal, I went to two, count them, one, two, Dollar Trees in Iowa. That's all I could get to. I have to explain, you guys, when I went to Iowa this last week and I had the grandest time watching my oldest grandson graduate. Let's talk about crying. I was like, you know, the whole time. Anyway, um, this is all I got in Iowa. Well, number one, you know, I had to bring it back with me, right? Um, but they were the crappiest Dollar Trees I think I've ever been to. The one of them had like nothing. I had to stop. So we landed at three o'clock on Friday. I had to stop at a Dollar Tree to get graduation balloons for Sunday. So I stopped at one in um, like the uh, Albert Lee area of Minnesota, because we came from Minneapolis down into Iowa. And it was like, the store was empty, but I found 
couple of things that I was like, what, what random in this store. And then I went to another Dollar Tree, which is in my other daughter, the town that she lives in, and it was pretty empty too. Um, but you know, in rural Iowa, it's there aren't that many of them. So I hit one on the way after we landed and one in, in, on Friday night at my one daughter's house, which is an hour away from the other daughter. Oh God, that's way too much information. And then we left at three o'clock in the morning to go back to the airport, so I couldn't stop any Dollar Trees on the way back. But, um, but the two that I stopped at, it was like, eh, but... Did I bring something back? Of course. And I will include that on Saturday Shopping Hall. Should we get into this food stuff? Oh my God, I rambled today. Wait, one more thing. Robin, um, thank you so much. She sent me these, which I have been looking for. We kind of did a little trade and I'm so excited because I have this house project I want to do and now I have the frames. But I wanted to show this beautiful card that Robin inserted. It's from Trader Joe's. And I swear, I think I'm going to do a piece of artwork with it. I just, I'm trying to decide how I do it. Anyway, I love it. Maybe just frame it because I think it's incredibly beautiful and I love that blue. And then, sweetheart, boop, hey, thank you. So my birthday is tomorrow, right? When is, yes, my birthday's tomorrow. We're having that mermaid birthday party with the seven-year-old because there's 50 years between us, half a century. Um, anyway, and so... They, they, I feel like this is like my little birthday present from Robin. Thank you so very much. And I love these. And you know, I include stickers, like elephant stickers on the kids. I think stuff I send to the grandkids. Okay, let's get to food. Come on. Have you seen these hips? I like me some food. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to try this. I'm just going to tell you about it. This is the Canada Dry Ginger Cranberry Ginger Ale. Now, I have hauled this before. I drink it. I love it. It's so amazing with Captain Morgan. And um, cause what do I tell you guys all the time? If you're gonna drink, drink with water. So if you put this cranberry ginger ale into a bottled water and then add it with Captain Morgan, you would be shocked. It'd probably be good with vodka too. Isn't everything good with, why don't I drink vodka? Cause I like, like everything I think is good with vodka. But anyway, so I finally found this again, but I'm gonna tell you this, this is a hard find. So if you, if you find it, try it. I think you're gonna like it. It is very good. It's also a very holiday drink, I feel like. So if you wanted to make a punch, this would be amazing with a sherbet, but use sparkling water for your mix and not just plain water, okay? But it would be super good. This stuff, amazing. If you find it, I think I bought like six boxes. Okay, but what I am gonna try today for the first time is the Sunkissed Orange Peach Mango. Now, you guys know I love my orange waters. Mm. And um, the orange water last week was, mm. so. So we're gonna give this one a shot. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure. Um, I did. I made the Yukon gold casserole. It's in my oven right behind me, right back there. Oh my gosh! Do you see all my veggies there? I'm gonna make this amazing salad very soon. As soon as I'm done with this. Um. So we're gonna taste that. Queen quinoa. Queen quinoa. Quinoa. I don't know how you say it. Okay, I love this. This is called Golden Hero, I mean, Tiny Hero Golden Queen. See how it's like a little face there? See, look at the little, he's the golden hero. Okay, I just have to, I'm gonna read this when I get to it. But I've cooked this and we're gonna try that. And I cooked it and the reason all my stuff is sitting there for the salad is because I'm actually gonna put the quinoa in the salad. So that should be very good. And then some tortilla strips. These look amazing. This is from Kitchen Fixins. And the final thing I have to get out of my fridge to show you what we're trying. What we be trying, Amy? What's going on? Hold on, I gotta get it. I also forgot to get my bottle of water from my, okay. Bottle of water. Um, we're gonna do the, the iced coffees, the iced lattes. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I tried a couple of these a couple of months ago and they were in glass jars. Anybody remember that? So, are these two the same? No. <laughs> No, there's one vanilla, one caramel, and one mocha. Um, okay, first of all, things taste different in a can versus glass, right? And um, and I only tried two flavors, and these say they're 15% more than what? I don't know. Anyway, these are chilled coffee drinks. So I thought, yes, it's summertime. And every morning, I make my guy a big, big, why is my nose running? We have no idea. Hold, hold. I think it was, I think it was because of the steam from the quinoa. Is that how you say it? Hey Google, how do you pronounce Q-U-I-N-O-A? 
On the website bhg.com.au, they say, this is how to pronounce quinoa properly. Quinoa with both syllables said slowly. Quin His name comes from Quechua. Okay, stop. Google, hey, Google, stop. Hey, Google, stop. The nutty quinoa. Hey, Google, stop. Hey, Google, stop. My gosh, she is such a yach sometimes. Just don't listen to me. So it says you pronounce them slowly. So quinoa. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. Anyway, all right. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to dive right into my sun-kissed orange peach mango. Um, and this is 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, by the way. Ooh, really good. No aspartame, zero sugar, naturally flavored with other natural flavors. Does that sentence make sense? Naturally flavored with other natural flavors. That sounds like an oxymoron to me. So it's naturally flavored with other natural flavors. Like, can you unnaturally flavor something with natural flavors? Yeah. yeah I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with no. I don't think so. There's five calories in one of our little doohickeys here. So there it is. I love their color combo, this, like, blue and peach. It's really pretty. All right. Let's, um, let's put it in and shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. The hate is going to hate, 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 hate. I'm going to shake, 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 shake. Shake it off. I shake it off. Taylor Swift. Do you guys like Taylor Swift? I can't decide. Okay. Ooh, ooh, it's so bright. That's like a super bright color from a powdered drink. That's like, I feel like that's so neon. Is that, kind of, is that coming across, you guys? It's like as bright as an orange um, uh, sun, orange sunkist orange sunkist yeah this is orange sunkist <laughs> okay but it's orange peach mango let's try ready mm. oh i like it me likey mm. Mm -hmm. vodka i mean i kind of wanted to throw captain in it right now and tell you if it's good with captain Ooh, but I like this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I will get more of that very orange, the tangy kind of flavor to it, which I like. So you may not like that. And you just get, it's mostly orange that I'm getting. You get a twinge of I mean, I can taste the mango kind of. I'm not really getting much peach, but mm, the, I mean this. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. I found another one that I, this is so good. I could probably drink all my waters if I added that to it, huh? Okay. Um, I'm going to go grab the queen, 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 queen. I don't know how you say it. Queen wall. And I'm going to tell you about the quinoa. So this is how much a serving is. And it's approximately, I'm going to say probably about a, a cupful. And what I want to tell you about this is that it is a six ounce package for $1. So that comes to $2.66 a pound. Okay. $2.66 a pound. I love this. on the. It's good until March of 22. But I. this is what it says on the back. I think this is funny. Do you want to feel like a superhero? Wait, do you guys remember? Oh, mighty Isis, which blow on high. Lift me. Oh, mighty Isis, which blow on high. Lift me now so I may fly. Anybody remember that show? Somebody give me a, give me a superhero for that one. Um, okay. Just, <laughs> so random. Do you want to feel like a superhero? Do you wish that healthy food was delicious and easy to prepare? Do you like rainbows and unicorns and rhetorical questions? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's up. That's why we're bringing you Tiny Hero Golden Quinoa. Quinoa. You have to say it slow. The most heroic grain on the planet. Not only is it gluten-free and a complete plant-based protein, it's ready to eat in just 12 minutes. There you go. So it says that this is, it has like a nutty, um, a nutty flavor and binds together better than other quinoa varieties. So this variety does. All right. So I will say that it 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 cooked super easy. You just boil the water, throw it in, and then you turn the heat down and let it, you know, go. And I've already tasted it. But I'll do it again for you. Okay, 
it's kind of like eating um like tapioca pudding without the, the sweet stuff in it um it also s very much reminds me of oatmeal but it's good and it does have a nutty flavor and it is healthier for you so like i would add this into i'm actually making um a um bell pepper onion what else am i doing bell pepper onion broccoli salad that may not sound good but i make amazing salads you have to trust me on that one and i'm going to throw this in it as well and then i'll make my own dressing and pour it in there so just to give it a little bit of protein into the salad with this so but what the best part about this is is that on amazon mm -hmm, you know i looked it up baby you know i did because i was like okay so i'm curious like i don't buy queen wall very i actually never buy it um, and I bought it because it was brand new at the Dollar Tree. I had not seen it there before. And I was like, okay, I got to I gotta give this a shot. So then I went on to Amazon to look at what the pricing was on it. There's my cats. And um, get this. Same brand. Tiny Hero. Tiny Hero right there, right? And it is $16.99 for a five-pound bag. $16.99 for a five-pound bag. And that comes to... $3.39 a pound, and at the Dollar Tree, it was $2.66 a pound, which means you this is a better buy. Smaller bag, but I kind of, see, I've said this to you guys before, I kind of like it better when they're in the smaller portions because it's just easier to use, and, you know, sometimes those huge things like a five-pound thing would take forever, and, and it would be open, and this way I'm only opening it as I need it, basically. So that amount was one fourth of the package because there's four servings in here. It was a fourth a cup raw and it comes out to approximately, maybe a little bit more than a cup when it's all said and done. All right, so that was amazing. Should we go to our, um, no, let's try a coffee. Did I say where this was made? I'm so sorry, you guys. It's grown in Canada and it's packaged out of, Sis yeah, it must be Canada somewhere. I can't say it. But I'm not even going to try. All right. Um, so this is the Victor Allen Coffee. They sell this at Walmart. I will tell you that much. I did not look it up. But I looked it up before and it was a good buy. So 200 calories in one can. Um, and it has shake well, serve chilled. I've chilled it. I was trying to see how much um, caffeine, if it says. It says 15% more as compared to our 9.5 fluid ounce ice latte. Okay. Thank you. It comes out of the Horseshoe Beverage Company, which is in Wisconsin. And it doesn't say how much caffeine. I was going to try and, I don't know, you guys. I couldn't tell you. But it is 200 calories, and to me, that seems like a lot. And I started to tell you earlier, I send an iced coffee off with my guy every morning. And occasionally, something will, I won't be here or something. And so, like, to have these in there that he could grab one. Not that he couldn't make his own, but then, anyway, it'd just be easier. This is vanilla. Mm, you guys. Mm-hmm. That's good. Do you want to know another really good trick? <laughs> Do you want everybody to think you're spending more money than you are on your coffee? Because who doesn't like to fool a person or two? So these are those um the they I don't know, Starbucks sold them, but like just pour your little iced coffee in here. They'll just think you bought a coffee from Starbucks, but it's not. It's look mm -hmm. I love this. I bought it. And then if you go in and if you bring it with you to Starbucks, you get like 10 cents off your coffee. I was like, well, that's going to be like 100,000 trips before I get my money back on that. But I bought it as a travel one. Okay. I'm going to drink the whole thing. The vanilla is really good. I like the vanilla. Yes. Okay. So how about we go to tortilla strips? So these are, there's four, two tablespoons is a serving and there's 35 calories in a serving. The ingredients of this are corn, massive flour, sunflower, safflower, and or canola oil, salt, red, 40, blue, one, and blue, two. Which, anybody else here with me? One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish? That's where it took me. How about you? Mm -hmm. All right, let's open them up. Did I say how long this is good till? Because this is good until November 18th of 21. So, yeah. But these are so good on top of a salad or on top of a soup and see they're tri-colored. So we have the yellow, the red, and the blue tortillas in there. Um, so let's just grab a couple. Mm, 
they're good and fresh. You guys, those are really good and fresh. Mmm. Mmm. Well, I like those. Okay. Yeah. Now I want to make soup. Mmm. Okay. Excellent. I would throw these on top of a salad because it's not really soup weather right now. And these are really good. You get 3.5 ounces in here. Yeah. Super fresh, you guys. Very fresh tasting. I love that. This is by Kitchen Fixins. So this comes out of General Brands Corporation out of New York, New York. And it's a product of Mexico. These little town blues are melting away. Okay. Don't ask me why. Um, so yeah, those are very good. How about iced, the iced latte mocha? Let's try the mocha. Also 200 calories. I didn't shake, I should shake. Shake it off, shake it. Wow, I'm really in a singing mood today. Hmm. I was like driving back from the grocery store. I went to the grocery store at like 7.30 this morning. And then on the way back, I threw my convertible top down and was like blaring my music. You know, people must think I'm insane. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you that because it got me started in this whole music thing really early today. Mm. Okay. I like the mocha. I like the mocha better than the vanilla. They're both good, but I do like the mocha better than the vanilla. Okay. So yeah, those are very good. I'm, I'm going to say I'm pretty impressed. All right. But it is 200 calories. And so that's, for me, it wouldn't be something that I would choose when I can make a, I can make myself an iced coffee here, far less calories in it, and it's going to be just as satisfying. So, but on the go, yeah, okay. Let's get out the Yukon Gold casserole. So remember last week I made the, the um, sweet potato casserole. Oh my gosh, you guys. I took a thing, I had turkey bacon, and I fried up the turkey bacon and cut it up and put it into the sweet potato casserole. It was so, so, so good. I was like, oh my gosh, it was amazing. It was so amazing. And so I, have, I'm, I haven't been back to buy some more, but I'm gonna buy some more of those for Thanksgiving. It was, just, it was really good. It was so good. All right, so the Yukon Gold, we're gonna assume is also good. This does have a bread crumb herb topping on it. And um, I just left it in the oven to stay warm. So let's show you what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Nice and browned on top. Okay. Um, let's get a spoon. Grab a spoon. I might need one of those, huh? I love potatoes. They're probably like, if I were, if I was stranded on a desert island and I could only have one food, it would be potato. It totally would be potato. Because there's so many things you can make with potato. Right? Okay, so let's go in. By the way, the texture of this was exactly the same as the sweet potatoes. It's freeze dried, then you heat up your water and your milk and your butter and you pour it on, stir it up, let it sit, put the topping on, throw it in the oven. I mean, it's fairly, it's fairly easy. Okay, so let's see, it looks good. Yeah, hot. Mm. Yeah, it's good. I think the sweet potatoes are actually better. It's a little salty maybe for me, but mm -hmm. mm. be really good with some cheese. <laughs> cheese, just add cheese to everything. It's good. Okay. Hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's way better than peeling potatoes and boiling them and mashing them all down when you can just do that. Now I'm cooking, that's gonna be a side dish for him. I'm marinating fish for him tonight. I don't know, fish and potatoes. Maybe I should do the pork chops instead. They're also marinating. Anyway, so I'll serve it as a side dish tonight. Super good. Uh, yeah, I would say that that's a yay. Okay, we have one more thing. Mm, I saved the one that I was hoping was gonna be the best for last and that's the caramel. So also 200 calories. They're all the same amount of calories. We're supposed to shake them. Should I do it one more time? Shake it off. Shake it off. Because <laughs> the hate is going to hate, 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 hate. And the shake is going to shake, 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 shake. Shake it off. Shake it off. Okay. Ready? Caramel. Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I like the mocha best. I mean, the caramel's good. I like the mocha best. Yeah, mocha's the best. I like them. They're very good. I will definitely buy these again. They will become a beverage staple, I would say. Um, put a little Bailey's in there. <laughs> so bad. You guys are going to think the worst of me. I'm really just a comedian. Do you guys all get that? Like, I just make fun of lots of things. Okay, so let's see. These three. Uh, mocha, vanilla, and caramel. 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 Okay, all very good. So if you have a preference in flavor, actually what I would suggest is that you buy one of each and see which one you like best. I do like the mocha best. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely like the mocha best. I think it's real. I'm gonna finish the mocha, definitely. Mm -mm. No, I'll put him in there and let my guy try him when he gets home tonight. So two thumbs up on these, on the Victor Allen iced lattes. Very good, love them. And by the way, just a hint. So let's say you buy one and it's a little too sweet for you. Another great thing that you can do is to cut it with real coffee. So make a pitcher of coffee and throw a couple of these in and you can cut it down a little bit. You're going to get more for your money that way too. I might actually try that because um, I feel like they could be a little less sweet. Um, but then if you throw them over ice, I don't know. Anyway, it's all up to you. Are they worth it? Yes. So pick them up and try that. Let's think about how much you spend for ice lattes. Anywhere, they're expensive. So I think a dollar is a good buy. Okay, so two thumbs up for the ice lattes, the Victor Allen ice, ice lattes, those are amazing. The tortilla strips, yes, two thumbs up. I'm so, so pleasantly surprised. So fresh, good taste, excellent. These are excellent. Um, I might have to pick some more of these up as well, although they are carbs. Mm, I will throw some on the salad that I'm making tonight though. Okay, so two thumbs up for those. The queen cloth. Yes. Goodbye, you guys. Remember. So it was like $3.39 a pound on Amazon, $2.66 a pound at Dollar Tree. So it's a good buy. It's at least 30, what's that, 30% off? 33%? I don't know, something like that. I can't do the math right now. 33% off, actually. No, 30% off. <laughs> what does it matter? It's cheaper. So um, yeah, two thumbs up for this. I don't normally buy it. I will purchase some more of this too. This is good, I said, until... March of 22, so it's got like basically a year shelf life, which means you can have it around for a while. It's great to add soups, salads, everything, even to dips. Um, there's so many things you can do with quinoa. It's almost like a stretcher. Not like when you're sick, stretcher. Not like going to the hospital, stretcher. It's like a food stretcher. Not like a shoe stretcher. <laughs> like a food, not like a, tw a torture chamber stretcher, a food stretcher. So you know food stretchers, like you put them, like celery I always feel like is a food stretcher. Like do we really need celery in there? It's just to add volume. But I feel like quinoa could do the same thing. So if you were making, you know, a good party size dip or something to throw some of that in there, I think it would actually be very good. Maybe, try it, let me know. Yukon gold casserole, yes, I'm in for this. I don't know what the regular price is and I feel like the 99 cents is probably during the fall when they're selling stuff like that, that's probably the normal fall price for it. Um, and I don't even know that you can get this right now. Did I say when this was good to? Till, this is good until October of this year. So, um, yeah, it's good. I mean, I will probably buy sweet potato, actually, before I buy more of this. Unless I can't find sweet potato and all they have is Econ Gold. Uh, here, this is my surprise one. Like, I'm really surprised. This is amazing. And it's five calories for... A stick, a packet. It says stick on here, like I don't even know why. Hmm. Okay, anyway, I love this. I think it's amazing. Mm. That is so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, you guys, there she be. That'd be Foodie Friday. Mm. I had a lot of drinks again. There's a lot of drinks at the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree. Freudian. <laughs> There's so many. All right. Hope you guys like that. Give me an orange right now. If you've made it all the way through this video, give me an orange or a mango or a peach. How about a fruit? Just give me a piece of fruit. Um, 
And then I will be back here tomorrow for Shopping Saturday where I will dive into my little Iowa bag. Boop! Oh my gosh. Can I just give you a little hint? What do you see there? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to film it right now though, FYI, because I have that birthday party on Saturday, so I can't do it Saturday. So, Lucy, I really hope you like the head wrap. Lucy, you better make a comment if you love my hap my head wrap. And I showed you how to do it, so hopefully now you can do it. And Louise, I really hope you love the hymn. Thank you for requesting a hymn. I do love, I swear, you guys, I'm not kidding you. My entire life, I've said, I should be wearing a purple robe in a Southern Baptist African-American choir. It's where I was supposed to be. It's totally where I was supposed to be. But I'm not. I'm stuck here with this. All right, guys. Have a great day. A great week, a great life, and as always, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Are we ready? Because here comes, nope, first I'm going to show you a picture of my cats, and then you're going to get some music. And don't forget to click out the link down below for A Girl in Her Flying Machine. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.